as good as it gets with these screws I have in my team. You, I told you right after the race, you made it look easy. You were so smooth. Did you have any problems at all? No, no, we have a really good setup for here. And um, I grew up racing here, plus did a lot of ice racing and stuff when I was a kid, and that's what it's kind of like. You know, you have to get really be tender with the steering and the throttle. And just go up a year before you qualify, just plug the thing around, and, and you know, everybody can kind of hang with you originally, and then as their stuff falls out, it's going away. Really, to have a deal, sometimes if you get a little too much of a lead, they'll throw a competition yellow. And Doug, you know, we have two car this morning, we had start for the back of the show. And, uh, so my dad was up spot, and it was pretty clear he was going to be able to do faster than Simon and Amy were. So I took off to try to get him to throw a yellow so he could, he could uh, have it for to beat him on restart, but they didn't throw a yellow. So he had to pass him anyway. So fortunately, he did great. And, uh, he did really good. Promo on Andy, Andy Lamer, and everybody that helped us out. Another good day? Good day, sir. Do you expect another good day tomorrow? Well, I was telling somebody on the radio, I'm not sure, Jim Gerlach might know, I think Darren Bradfield had the record for winning four in a row at Sears Point. And if that's the case, I think tomorrow I can break it. Good luck, Good luck, Tony. Yep. Okay, thank you guys. Now let's go to uh, TA2. <laughs>